Hello, hello. This is day 171 of learning cybersecurity. Um, today I did finish the first the first model for Suricata fundamentals, which with this model it's pretty much they show you multiple filters that you can use as uh, basic setups. I would say it is a lot of information for only one model and yeah the first exercise will be just to filter out only HTTP events from this file from this JSON and using the GP command line in JSON process enter the flow underscore ID that will come across as your answer so Alright, I'm already on the file and I already opened the remote desktop protocol. So I will show you how you can do it. I would say it's similar like using Splunk. Yeah, kind of similar. For this one we just have to use they mentioned that we have to use the GP G K commands. and then we are going to be using select and this select an event type and we only specify that filters only HTTP events uh -huh. let's see select event type event underscore type underscore type underscore type equals equals HTTP so HTTP and we are going to be adding flow, flow ID which is what we are looking for flow underscore ID and no, we need flow underscore ID flow underscore ID and now we can copy the exact location for the file that we are looking for which is this one so let's click enter and see unexpected we have an unexpected which is coming from the HTTP is this really unexpected? <laughs> Select should be fine. Event type HTTP. Hmm. Event type HTTP is working fine. So for HTTP select H TTP unexpected unexpected we have an unexpected so select and this is unexpected select event on the score type oh. JQ let's see let's redo it okay I already copy the information let's see event all silicata look let's see all right now we are able to get the flow ID 
for the first exercise. Come on, could happen. Flow ID. So copy and paste. Mm, copy and paste. Okay. Now for the second exercise, this um, this will say <laughs> enable the HTTP locked output in Suricata that YAML and run Suricatas against and this is the location and enter the requested PHP page as your answer and we have um, the format that PHP so okay that PHP that PHP for that one we have to use our um, um, editor just text editor like nano nano we can use nano and now we can copy the exact location that we need to look for nano and also okay we have to hmm, well, well we have to use nano and then enable in the um, configurations of HTTP so we are going to go to configurations which is located in etc Suricata Hmm, um, I'm not sure if I have the password around here, but let me check it, maybe I have it around, I think it's this one, so let's see, okay, now that we have opened the file, we can find and modify the section that we're looking for which is HTTP enable HTTP HTTP logins maybe Do we have HTTP logins around here ok let's see HTTP anomalies files TLS SM we have HTTP 2 enable HTTP probably is in on the top it should be oh, we have one here HTTP extended enable this extend extended logins hmm. where is that looks for enable HTTP enable HTTP we have one here the only one let's close it just to check if the file is already mm, available to use here let's use suricat again maybe it's already set up on the remote desktop and we don't have to do it I hope <laughs> that it's already set up 
so copy art sudo r and then let's redo it sudo now we need the var let's see let's make sure that we have the lock for suricat suricat in the lock so notice this is a suspicious version now we need to extract the php page we have this is suricat extraction version release signal recognition stop package and files mm, check so let's see let's see what we have http so maybe we can extract by selecting select and then http http that url contain php let's see php should be good now Hmm, that's weird. I think that maybe something is missing. Let's HTTP that HTTP that URL. So let's see if these commands will work. cannot cannot enter error we have multiple null hmm. well I, I haven't completed both of them so <laughs> I'm just learning on the go <laughs> hmm, let's see what else can we use maybe we can enable the http log output on the suricata's jam jam configuration file i think that i have one command for that which enables exactly what we need so let's see suricata jamal hmm sudo it didn't request for any um, password so i'm not sure if it's working or not i hope it is no it's not asking for anything so now let's try to list the information let's see home pickup file let's see suricata and ls ls i need the ls so let's try it again 
copy and paste. Let's see. Then pick up class and let's check. Error. This cannot come. Hmm. Let's see. We have suricata art. Suspicious package. Okay, now we have all the information that we need. Let's try to use a list just to check if everything is okay. A list event log we have. Mm, multiple information, fast lock, HTTP locked. Well, this HTTP lock is was the file that it was re currently created and that we are working on. So we can grab that one and filter the entries just script we can use script let's try to use the script and then that php H the file name so let's see now we have some information which should be fine mm -hmm, let's see we need to enter the requested php page as our answer so let's see if we have any php page that it was requested up that PHP we have up that PHP so in that case up PHP will be our answer it will be the um, requested PHP page and yes it will be the only one yep pretty much that will be um, the two exercises for the first model which is suricata fundamentals then there are two other models for suricata one is the for rule development and the other one will be for rule development encrypted traffic if i'm not mistaken but I, before i i start reading those i'm probably going to be looking for some videos do that i truly believe that suricata is really complex complicated and well there is not that much information online as, as with Wireshark or t -shark or TCP DOM and I think this is a little bit more limited so yeah but for now and um, yes that will be all for now and see you tomorrow